Browns fans, brace yourselves because our team's latest move is going to shock you. An unexpected roster change that's sure to shake up the OTAs. Did we finally get it right? Don't miss this explosive analysis. Subscribe to the channel now and join the discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Cleveland Browns supporters, I'm here to bring you the latest news about our team with the passion and intensity you deserve. Let's get straight to it. The Browns made a surprising decision to waive one of their quarterbacks and, believe it or not, re-signed a kicker. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is going on in Berea? Let me explain. Just a week ago, the Browns signed Jacob Sermon after his performance at rookie minicamp and waived Lucas Havrisic. Now, they've done the opposite. And what does this mean? I'll tell you, this is a hugely positive sign for the health of our quarterback room as we gear up for organized team activities, OTAs. Think about it. Until recently, there were big concerns about the physical condition of quarterbacks Deshaun Watson and Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Watson is still recovering from a shoulder injury that ended his season early, and Thompson-Robinson is coming back from a hip injury. But the decision to waive Sermon indicates that both players might be more ready than we thought to take part in off-season practices. Now, let me be clear. Let's not fool ourselves into thinking Watson and Thompson-Robinson will be 100% right away. Both will likely be on a limited activity schedule to avoid any overload before training camp. But the good news is, they'll be on the field, taking snaps, getting back into the game rhythm, and leading our offense. And speaking of the offense, we gotta ask, is bringing Haversick back the right move? Honestly, a kicker shouldn't be our top priority right now. Shouldn't we be focusing on strengthening other critical areas? Plus, is this player shuffle giving us stability, or just creating more uncertainties? The big question for you, Browns fans, are we on the right track prioritizing the health of our QBs and bringing Haversick back, or are we wasting energy and resources on unnecessary moves? I want to hear your opinions. Comment, discuss, and let's go through these ups and downs together. Because with the Browns, one thing's for sure, it's never boring. Let's go, Browns!